Hey everyone, it's Elaine and welcome back to my channel. Well, I'm a little late in posting this. I had put this hinge journal up on my Instagram a little while ago, um, but now I want to actually do a flip through. So anyhow, this is my design team project for actually it was the month of September um, for Sweet Pea Curiosities. And if you have not checked out Marissa's digitals, oh my heavens, you have to go do it. And every once in a while, actually pretty regular, she'll do a sale. With that being said, you can get a discount on all those fabulous digitals. Um, to me, it's great. Um, even before I became part of her design team, I have bought a ton of her digitals. Anyhow, I know. Shut up, Elaine. Let's get to flipping. All right, here you go. I Let me say one other thing about her digitals. When I do her hinged, um, I guess they're like file folders, I don't really embellish a whole lot with other stuff. Um, I know a lot of people do, and they're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But I don't know. I think being on her design team, I want to emphasize her creativity. And that's why I don't do a whole lot of embellishing. Because I don't want people to say, oh, I wonder if that comes with it. No, chances are it's not because these are digitals. If I add a button or a piece of lace... I don't know. I just don't want to confuse people. Hope that makes sense. Anyhow, let's go. Uh, so anyhow, you can see here. And this one, I didn't really add anything to the page because, I don't know, I thought it was a cool bingo card. Witch instead of bingo. Um, and here we go. Now, I will say that her Halloween digital, and I'll put the link down below to the digital, did not come with a lot of back pages. So she does have another small digi kit where you can do the back pages. And that's what I did. I just took them and then when I printed it out, I just added it to the back. And remember, I don't do it on the heavy paper that um, Marissa suggests. I do it on a paper and then a piece of cardstock and then the other half of the digital. That's how I do it. If you follow me for any length of time, you know that I am really trying to use what I have and not go out and buy a bunch of stuff. So I, I think a lot of people can relate. So remember, her digital, a piece of cardstock, and then her digital. And then I ink around the edges if I need to. This cardstock I used was black. And the hinges in this case were black. And hold on one second. Let me grab and show you what I used. This is the tape that I used. 49 and mark it. Now, if you see what I see, I didn't see it when I ordered it. It was repositionable. That's bad. <laughs> That's bad when you want to do hinges. However, I after leaving them on there I could probably pry them up but after they've been on there now I'd say at least minimum of a week there I think they're gonna stay but if for some reason it doesn't I can just peel them back do a little daub of glue and put it back down I won't have to recon deconstruct and then reconstruct the whole book so as you can see she's got some little file folders in this kit you can hide some little notes there is all kinds of digitals in here. So anyhow, some pockets. I used that little card just as a little tuck spot. Um, if, it, if it was beautiful scenes, like the bingo and now the haunted house, I really just tried to leave that alone and emphasize it. Um, I, I didn't see the sense in trying to cover it up. Now there is something in here that I'm trying to see what I did with it. This is one of the other back papers. Most of these back papers are the ones from her other kit. Um, not just the Halloween one. Alright, let me flip back through here again real quick. There is something that I'm looking for. 
And you know, here it is. I was going to say, my luck would be it fell out, and then I sit down to do the video. These are also some of the things that came with her digitals. Now, I left this in here. I did use a few throughout and just put them different places. But if you wanted to, you could cut them out and put them on the hinge. I mean, I keep wanting to call the tabs the hinge. On the tabs, or you could just put them around different places. I'm going to see if I could find one where it pops out at me here where I did add one. Of course not. No, of course not. Why would that be? Anyhow, I did leave these out because I am headed to a another craft and February and this I am going to do as a door prize. I'm going to be a vendor and sell some of my handmade things and then some other supplies and stuff. So they, you know, we usually ask vendors to give us some kind of good door prize. I usually don't sell or give my journals. Don't ask me why, but I don't. But anyhow, this one is going to be a door prize since it is close to Halloween. And folks don't always understand junk journals, um, but they like them. So with that being said... <laughs> I'm going to give one away. Um, and I hopefully people will put the ticket in the box for this. So we'll see. Anyhow, thanks for coming by and seeing what I'm up to for another one of my little short videos. But remember, I do try to put up a video on Tuesdays. I've been really busy lately and have it made every Tuesday. Um, and then remember, I am on Facebook and I have a private page. I have a group. I have a, a page page. And then remember too now, if you would like to join my crafty retreat group with Lori, it is called Crafting and Chatting with Lori and Elaine. No G's on the Crafting and Chatting. Um, but come on and join us. Um, we do host, host them in Georgia. And then I do have two junk journal retreats that I do in Alabama. Now they sell out quick. I'll have to say the last one sold out in one day. So I was tickled about that, but a little scared at the same time. And then I also do have an Instagram, Twitter, and I'm on Pinterest. Um, and I have a small Etsy shop. Mostly what I sell is um, my blueprints and my auction tags. That's probably my best sellers. Um, and with that being said, I appreciate you coming by and checking it out. And I will see you down the road. Behave.